Plant breeding is the genetic improvement of plants for human benefit. The process of plant breeding involves science, art, and business. Dr. Rex Bernardo. My career as a plant breeder encompasses so many dynamics every single day. Anything from entry list creation to germplasm selection to identifying the next greatest and biggest thing for the commercial market and growers worldwide. I feel that if you want to become a plant breeder, five characteristics pop out in my mind right away. And those five characteristics are one, motivation. You need to be motivated in what you do. You need to be motivated to think outside the box, be creative. Two, you need passion and you need drive. I feel that in order to deliver innovative results, you really got to have the drive to get there. Number three, you need to understand scientific research and methodology and have a solid background understanding. Number four, I would feel that interpersonal skills are extremely critical. You're probably surprised I said interpersonal skills, but it's extremely important that you're able to work with people and that you're likable in a work environment. And number five, not last, but teamwork is extremely important. Today with me, I have Dr. Andrew Friskup, an assistant professor from North Dakota State University, giving us a little bit of a different twist on plant breeding. Yeah, one of the perceptions you would think of plant breeding is immediately you may be thinking of characteristics with yield, um, maybe stock strength, uh, big leaves, something that would be some of the indirect selections too into uh, promoting overall food. But one thing that's often uh, not really communicated well is the influence of other biological agents. Uh, one being plant, plant pathogens uh, being a very big cause of some of these drastic yield losses. And when I think of plant pathology and breeding, I think of a synergistic effort. You can't have one without the other. Uh, breeders are there to help the plant pathologists to uh, give them that line of defense, give them that management tool to help to help uh, combat some of these really drastic yield causing, uh, yield limiting plant pathogens. When I think of plant breeding on a global community and all the uh, challenges that go into it, I think the very first thing that comes to mind is uh, food security. Uh, we have a, a never-ending population that keeps increasing and we only have so much land to produce all the food on it. Uh, and that is one of the biggest challenges right now in plant breeding that if you get these high yielding traits, if you get more food out there, it's going to have a direct impact on a uh, food source for not just in the U.S. but also in both perspectives. Um, I think a very good example of this was what Norman Borlaug did. Uh, he was able to combine plant pathology and also breeding to help solve some of those efforts uh, across in those developing countries or in India, Pakistan, uh, but also down in Mexico. And taking all that effort he learned from his schooling and how big of an impact it can have in a worldwide scale. And that's one of the reasons why I love being a plant breeder. I love the collaboration and networking, not just in your local community, but globally. You think you could solve all the uh, world's problems at, uh, over a cup of coffee, uh, but that's, that's where you kind of your drive and seeing how you can make big changes, not only in a small community, but also through time uh, to a bigger world change. And I think breeding is one area that is definitely needed uh, with the current issues that we face across the world.